champion, Carlos Alcaraz. Spain's 19-year-old Carlos Alcaraz made history on September 11th by becoming the youngest man to rise to the world number spot in tennis after his first U.S. Open victory. Carlos Alcaraz defeated Norway's Casper Ruud to become the youngest Grand Slam champion since his idol Rafael Nadal's victory at the 2005 French Open. So in this video we will talk about everything we know about Carlos Alcaraz and how he achieved his dream. Before starting we want you to subscribe to our channel. Done? Let's begin. Who is Carlos Alcaraz? Carlos Alcaraz Garfia is a Spanish professional tennis player. He is currently ranked as the world number one singles player by the Association of Tennis Professionals, ATP. Carlos Alcaraz Garfia was born on May 5, 2003, in El Palmer, Murcia, Spain to parents Carlos Alcaraz Gonzalez and Virginia Garfia Escandón. He has three siblings. He started playing tennis at the Real Sociedad Club de Campo de Murcia, where his father was the tennis academy director. Alcaraz has won six ATP Tour singles titles, including the 2022 U.S. Open and two Masters 1000 titles. With the U.S. Open win, Alcaraz became the youngest ever men's world number one at 19 years, four months, and six days old, and the first teenager in the Open era to top the men's rankings. He loves his family. When we're at home, my parents tell me what I have to do. You know, do this, do that. Just normal parent kid stuff. I'm normal. I'm a normal guy. Moments after his win over Rude, Alcaraz dashed to the stands and Spidey climbed to get to the group in his box. They wrapped him in a huddle before he hugged each of them, one at a time. Who trains Carlos Alcaraz? Alcaraz is trained by Juan Carlos Ferrero, a former world number one and two-time Olympian who won the French Open in the same year his pupil was born. Ferrero has trained Alcaraz since the summer of 2018. In an interview for Teledeport after Alcaraz won the Miami Masters 1000, Ferrero explained the reasons he chose to train Carlitos. He was something different from what I was used to. It is not the same as training Alexander Zverev, who back then was number three in the world. With Carlos, we still had everything to do. He was a youngster that had a lot of potential, but was very untidy, and I think that's something we have improved. I feel the level of Carlos's game is still at 60% of his maximum. More than just a youngster, Alcaraz is now truly a young star. His role model? The only player in history to have won 21 Grand Slams was destined to be a role model for Alcaraz, who grew up watching all of Nadal's successes. At just 16 years old, Alcaraz spoke about comparisons between himself and Nadal, and how risky making those comparisons could be. It is not easy being compared to Nadal, because both generations end up losing. He is an idol, and there is only one of him. I continue working hard to be a professional tennis player, he told Tennis World. I want to be like Rafa. My game is more like Roger Federer's, but my role model is Rafa because my game is more suited to clay, he continued. This year in Madrid, Alcaraz beat his idol Nadal for the first time in his career, and Nadal only had good things to say about him. I am happy for him, everyone knows the level of tennis he is capable of reaching. I'm really glad that my country has found another incredible player that Spain can rely on for many years, he said in a press conference. Professional life. There is something transcendent, already, about the way Alcaraz moves across the court and the way he plays the game. His real-time strategy, his execution, his net game, his drop shots. It's shocking. This isn't hyperbole. He's been on a steady ascent through the rankings since he made his ATP Tour debut in February of 2020, when he was 16. What began as an escalator became a rocket ship. Alcaraz made his ATP main draw debut at the Rio Open after receiving a wild card for the singles main draw. There, he defeated Albert Ramos Vinolas. Alcaraz was ultimately defeated in the second round by Federico Correa. Now Alcaraz, at the age of 19 years and 275 days, ended the year as youngest and first teenager world number one. There are other players who are just as fast, Australia's Alex de Menor, for example, and there are other guys who win Medvedev, Nick Kyrgios. But with them, at least to the casual observer, there's stuff to work on, regular tennis things like attitude, playing style, consistency. Alcaraz, for now, plays like a magician and a serial killer. His playing style. 
Alcaraz is an all-court, all-round tennis player, but primarily employs an aggressive baseline style of play, with an emphasis on a high winner count from his forehand, typically his most reliable and potent shot. He can either hit his forehand flat and fast for winners from every court position, or add a great amount of topspin and margin over the net. He also possesses a well-rounded and more flat and lower net clearance backhand ground stroke that he is able to redirect down the line for clean winners. His greatly disguised drop shot is key to his game, as he often combines the heaviness of his ground strokes that pushes his opponents back into the court into a defensive position with a drop shot that is often too well-placed and disguised to deal with. How much prize money has Alcaraz earned? As of 2022, he has won more than $9.4 million in prize money on the ATP Tour in singles and doubles combined. His net worth is around $14 million. Endorsements Alcaraz is sponsored by Nike for clothing and shoes and by Babolat for rackets using the Babolat Pure Aero VS racket. In January 2022, he became a brand ambassador for Rolex. He is also a brand ambassador for Dermo Cosmetics Company Isden, Spanish food company El Pozo, and German automobile manufacturer BMW under their BMW Spain division. Now let's talk about interesting things about him. Some interesting things about Carlos Alcaraz. Carlos got his driver's license at the beginning of February, having passed his theory test in 2021. Like Rafael Nadal, he's a real matted fan and hopes that Kylian Mbappe will leave Paris Saint-Germain this summer. Carlos has started to play golf in his downtime, another thing that he shares with Nadal. The merchant enjoys training his brain with chess, and he loves nothing more than to nap in the afternoon. Nobody has a bigger team behind them than Alcaraz does, and he has a lot of people contributing to his success. Before games, he loves to eat sushi. He has always eaten well, and he likes to indulge in Japanese food. Alcaraz's brother, Alvaro, accompanied him in Rio de Janeiro, and they trained together there, allowing the pro to get ready. He's the first man to win a Grand Slam title after facing match points since Novak Djokovic at Wimbledon in 2019, and the first man to win the US Open after facing match points since Stan Wawrinka in 2016. This was it for today's video. Let us know what you think in the comments. We love you to have you as one of us.